Well, everybody, here is a brand new Rigs of Rods Monster Jam tutorial that people have asked me about to do because I want to get a whole bunch more of these done eventually, and that is how to swap out flags. Now, of course, this is the exact same process as it was in my tutorial how to swap tires, so if you watch that tutorial to swap tires, this is the exact same process, but since people have asked me to show them how to do it, I said, screw it, I'll just do it. And, of course, this is the beginning parts of me making my custom blue fund I've been wanting to make for a while. So hopefully I can get this done in time for a future fun run, maybe. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. But anyways, how to swap flags or put flags on, because this blue thunder right now does not have a flag. So first off, you're going to need to um, put a f the flag and the material mesh on here for that flag, which I got power forwards flag. Then you're going to need to go to the truck that you got the flag from and go all the way down here, because they're usually down here. Where is it okay it's up here because usually this mesh right here for the flag is usually more at the bottom but this time it's right here all right so you copy it and my custom blue funder i'm going to put it where i where normally the flags go which is usually down here and there you go now it should just load up in game Come on, load up the game. I hate when the game does that so much. All right, reload the game, and it should load up with the flag. And come on. Uh, great, looks like the game froze, which is not good. <laughs> I okay. <laughs> well, that's pretty funny. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> But the flag is there. So there you go. That's how you swap a flag. I don't know why it deleted one of the tires. Let me check it again. Uh, oh, maybe it needs this right here. Oh, that's just funny, though, that it deleted the tire. Uh, <laughs> the tire's still there. It's just um, not seeable. Uh, that's so funny. Oh, man, the flag's all busted, though, the way it's handling at the moment, though. So I might have to do some more work on it. But that is how you swap a tire out now you're probably wondering it what about making your own t flag and clone it well the process is the the exact same thing as you would like on um, my clone my truck tutorial you repaint it you rename it you rename the mesh material to it as well you go inside replace the texture the old texture name with the new one and then you replace the name so like this will be custom blue thunder flag if i used one so I repaint it, rename it Custom Blue Thunder Flag, rename everything as that, go into the truck file, rename it Custom Blue Thunder Flag, and done. That's it. So that's the end of this tutorial. That is just so funny how that happened. Of course, I'm a little annoyed why the flag's acting the way it's such because it should not be causing a problem, especially since the nodes are right there. But that's how you swap a tire out. And that was just really funny with the tire disappearing and all that. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you all enjoy eventually soon. When I make my custom blue funder.